Hayes and Lehman Volleyball meet on the court for the final time this season. Who came out on top? Big wins highlight the Hayes CISD football scene and the Rebel Tennis season comes to an end. I'm Moses Leos and this is your Hayes Free Press Sports Roundup. Let's begin our roundup with volleyball as Hayes and Lehman near the end of the season. Yes. Friday saw the Lady Rebels defeat Shirts Clemens in four sets. Sydney Perrado led Hayes with 24 kills, while Catherine Riston had, had, had 47 assists, giving her over 1,000 for the year. Across town, Lehman hosted Seguin and notched their second district win in a five-set duel. It set up the big hayes Lehman showdown on Tuesday night, where Hayes upended Lehman in straight sets. Hayes extended their win streak over the Lobos to 14 matches, and they have not dropped the set to Lehman since 2008. Perido led all players with 19 kills, Riston with 31 assists. So, here's a look at the 27-4A standings with two regular season games left on the season. The Lady Rebs have all but clinched a playoff spot, but must win out to remain in third place. They travel to Seguin on Friday and then finish district play at state-ranked Kerrville Tyvee. Lehman finishes their season against the top two teams in district, Tyvee on Friday and then Bernie Champion next Tuesday. Let's move on to football where Hayes and Lehman both played at home this week. On Thursday, Lehman concocted a fourth quarter drive to surge past Seguin in a thrilling 24-21 win. Lehman quarterback Jeremy Schillab led all rushers with 124 yards on 17 carries and two rushing touchdowns. He also threw, he also went 7 of 10 for 150, 115 yards passing. Paul Brown aided the rushing effort with 75 yards, and Tyler Heiss had 25 yards on the ground as well. Friday night, Hayes toppled district leader Schertz Clemens from the ranks of the unbeaten, defeating Clemens in a 38-28 route. Holton Dickerson, who gained 107, 107 yards on six carries, led the Rebels on the ground. Helping was Cody Gandy with 100 yards and a touchdown, and Dylan Casper with 52 yards and a touchdown rushing. Quarterback Jeff Jordan went 10 of 15 for 166 yards and two touchdowns, while Clemens quarterback J.J. Elkins threw for 429 yards and all four touchdowns. So, here's how it all shakes out for District 27-4A in football this week. With three games left, Hayes is in prime position for a playoff spot and has the opportunity to vie for a district title. Lehman still holds a slim chance for a playoff berth, but must, must win out and get some help to achieve that goal. The Rebels travel to Seguin, while the Lobos go to Kerrville Tyvee. Both Hayes and Lehman play on Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Finally, the Hayes tennis team completed the fall season by reaching the area round of the playoffs. The team defeated 28-4A champion San Antonio Jefferson 10-0, but then fell to Bernie Champion and Kerrville Tyvee to finish in fourth place. Congrats to the tennis team on, on an outstanding finish. For an in-depth look at the hayes Lehman volleyball match, both Hayes and Lehman football games, and a cross-country update, be sure to pick up this week's edition of the Hayes Free Press, or view the stories online at www.hayesfreepress.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. For the Sports Roundup, I'm Moses Leos.